happy. Yeah, so for the next uh, short 10 minutes, I'll give a little bit of a teaser into what we have done on our Unbus culture and leadership experience journey at Novartis. In Novartis, and, and that's really the premise of it, is that we want to reimagine medicine. We want to make a real dent in the, unit, in the universe, a real change to how we support humankind in delivering medicine. And part of that is doing it via a culture journey. And if you take one thing away, it is that there is no organizational change without individual change. And that's really the centerpiece of our beliefs around the journey that I'm about to present you. It has gathered a lot of media attention in re recent years. It really um, was accelerated when Vaz took over as the CEO of the company back in, in 2018. A lot of talk about on boss, a lot of talk and, and also liked um, how Mark put it, uh, digital, that's, that's any company out there that will be AI enabled, will be desk free. So that was something that was talked about a couple of years ago in, in Novartis. And in order to unlock that journey, and obviously you can have a very bold ambition, but you need sort of the key to unlock it. Uh, and what we believe in Novartis, it's people. Uh, so it's unleashing the power of our people that is what truly will unlock and, and make us achieve the, the aspiration, which is to focus Novartis as a leading medicines company powered by advanced therapy platforms and data science. Now, you may ask sort of why is people so important? What is the role that people play in this? And in fact, it is one of our five strategic priorities to unleash the power of our people. So it's not just something we say within PO, uh, so people and organization or HR, if you will, within Novartis. It is something that's that's spoken among our senior leaders across the company. And to take a little bit of a, a step into the adult development theory, what we really want to do is in, in the words of Charles Cooley, is breaking the glass ceiling. So in, in the words of Charles Cooley, and really, if we follow the adult development theory by, for example, uh, Robert Keegan, Lisa Leahy, it is to, to really take the, the shackles off, take the other part of the job that many of us are carrying to work, which is looking good. How do I appear to others? What must others think of me? And really take that part aside and come to a level of self-awareness when we have a bigger goal, we have a bigger purpose, both as an individual, but also as a company to make. So what is the self-image? What's the self-awareness that we drive? And that is what we believe is needed in order for us to innovate, in order for us to be creative and create that future where we can reimagine medicine. What we have put in place in order to do that is a culture-led journey, as I mentioned. It's focused around our culture aspiration, which by now is also our values and behavior set in, in Novartis, which is inspired, curious, and unbossed. The piece that I'll, I'll focus on in the next couple of minutes is about the unbossed journey and specifically about what we call the unbossed leadership experience. I'll make a very short reference uh, to, to what Mark uh, presented earlier in the keynote, which is around the hybrid ways of working which is also something that we're working very actively on under what we call choice with responsibility. So we're a firm believer that absolutely it's a hybrid way of working. That is the future for us in, in our companies today. So back to the, the topic of on bus leadership experience. What is it? How did it start? It started from the top and it was back in, in 2018 when we embarked on that journey of on bus leadership experience with the top 250 leaders across Novartis we created a year long journey program. And from that, we learned a couple of things. And we learned that there truly are three conditions as we see it for personal growth. So one is the trigger experience. And in our case, the trigger experience, that is of course the on-bus leadership experience. Uh, so that is what activates the need for change. The second part is we really need to work with ourselves in order to uncover our immunity to change. Uh, and, and the inspiration here is really taken from Keegan and Leahy and the adult development theory. If you wanted to go deeper into some of the components in order to do that, yes, uh, there is the immunity to change map, um, which is a centerpiece and a tool that we're using on our journey. Other aspects uh, in terms of leading in complexity, so for example, the Kinefin framework, the notion of polarities and working with that. And then last but not least, also working on our mindfulness and really going deeper into understanding who we are, how do we show up, how do we thrive and how do we 
become at our best. Last but not least, it's to facilitate a continuous practice. So we need to set up an ecosystem. And more importantly, we also wanted to take the bold step of saying this is not just a journey. And I say just a journey we do for our top 250 leaders. We really wanted to expand that in Novartis. And we decided that we wanted to expand it by the end of 23. And remember, we started back in 2018 to 20,000 leaders across Novartis. So we are now in the midst of that. We're creating the capacity to onboard into that journey of personal growth around 5,000 leaders every single year. Um, and that's what we're in the middle of. We're already seeing some quite astonishing results. Uh, and obviously, um, that's also something later on. And that's a little sneak peek uh, for hopefully our time together in September at the Merit uh, Awards, where we'll show a little bit of the data behind what are some of the results that we're starting.